everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe? Become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Here, I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Today is a skincare focused video, but I'm actually going to be highlighting one brand in particular, and that is Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula has actually been a really big part of my beauty routine over the past couple of years. They've put out so many awesome makeup releases, but something that I haven't really talked about is the skincare that I really love from the brand. In the time since I filmed my last skincare update video, my skin has been changing a little bit and I've just noticed it becoming so much more sensitive. It could definitely have to do with the environment. I feel like it is drier than it's ever been in Vegas right now. A couple months ago, I started developing patches of like flaking skin. It was so dry and sensitive. And so I have needed to tweak my skincare routine to accommodate that. And I have been kind of leaning on Physicians Formula because a lot of their products are hypoallergenic, good for sensitive skin, dermatologist tested, and a lot of them are vegan as well. So today I'm actually partnering with Physicians Formula to share my favorite skincare picks from the brand of all time. So if you want to know what works really well for my sensitive and dry skin this season, just keep watching. So we're gonna go a little bit backwards in terms of like how I use these products in my routine because first I wanna talk about the newest addition to my skincare routine and the newest addition to the brand's lineup. This was just released this past week, but I got an advanced jar, so I've been testing it since the last half of December. So this is the all new Physicians Formula Rose All Night Ultra Rich Restorative Cream. This is my latest skincare obsession, especially if you have super dehydrated skin like I did, this just like overnight made such a difference. So this is a calming and hydrating cream, super rich, very thick texture. It locks in moisture, but it also helps with the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. It's made with rose water, cockadoo plum, and sea mayweed, which is a natural alternative to wrinkle fillers. So as you can see with the texture, it is a very thick cream, but it really just melts into the face once you start patting it in. My skin personally just drinks it right up. It doesn't feel heavy or like residue-y, but like you feel instantly ultra hydrated. So you can definitely use this in the morning for moisture that will last all day, but I personally use it at night. Because it's so thick, the best way to use it is to warm it up a little bit between your fingers and then press it into the skin and that'll really get all of that hydration packed on there. I honestly think that this is one of the best options right now at the drugstore for super dry, dehydrated, thirsty, and sensitive skin, especially because it's only $14.95. I mean, it really does feel like a super high-end luxury cream. I personally can't really speak to the claims of the reducing fine lines and wrinkles just because I'm 25 and I don't have a lot of that, but as someone who had really dehydrated and irritated skin before I started using this, I can just say it's perfect for packing on hydration and having that feeling last. Like I wake up and my skin is still moisturized and supple and soft. Okay, so again, we're kind of just working backwards because that's how this is happening. So the product that I will actually put on before I put on the moisturizing cream is the Physicians Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shot in the Brightening Serum. So this serum is specifically designed to target dark spots and brighten them up and even out skin tone. It's made with vitamin C as well as licorice, which helps target those dark spots and brighten them up, as well as B3 to improve complexion. You all probably know I'm someone who struggles with adult acne, but I also struggle with hyperpigmentation. Every time I get a blemish, even after it heals, I'm left with a dark spot. So working in brightening products like this really helps me just achieve more evenness. So basically after cleansing and toning, I'll put this on to my cleansed skin, let it sink in for a little bit, and then I'll go and use the Rosé All Night Cream. So this sinks in super fast, it also gives me a little bit of moisture, and the cream really helps lock it in. Since I started using this, I noticed that my hyperpigmentation is not only lightening, but like when I get new dark spots, they're not as dark as they used to be, if that makes sense. So once a blemish heals, what's left over is a lot more manageable than when I wasn't using this. They also have two different versions of the Vitamin Shot, and hydrating and time restoring so you can kind of totally customize your skincare and mix and match them or just use one that really speaks to what your skin needs but the brightening one is the one that 
personally like works the best in my routine for what I need. Okay, my next favorite skincare item from Physicians Formula has to do with cleansing and cleansing a caked face. So this is the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. This is for my heavy duty days where I have so much makeup on my face, I have really caked it, I've got full face glam, and makeup wipes are just not gonna do the trick. This melts away makeup and deep cleans impurities as well as leaves your skin feeling hydrated. So even though it's getting everything off your skin, you're not gonna feel stripped. It's got a ton of antioxidants in it as well. It's obviously made with green tea matcha as well as bamboo shoot and lotus extract. Now I used to use just straight up coconut oil to melt off really heavy makeup, but I found that this was just a lot easier and it didn't leave as much of like that heavy feeling afterwards. But in general, this is just easier to rinse off. The thing with coconut oil is like it melts off all your makeup and then you're left kind of smearing it around and you're trying to like rinse it off. So using coconut oil just became too much of a process and when I started using this, it was doing the same same thing as far as like melting away really heavy caked on makeup, but it was a lot faster to just get to a cleansed face. <laughs> now, if you don't typically wear like a full face of really heavy makeup, but you do struggle sometimes with um, waterproof eyeliner or mascara and you feel like you're rubbing at your eyes a lot, this is a really good um, choice if you don't want to get like the heavier cleansing balm. This is the Coconut Milk Eye Makeup Remover and this will just get waterproof mascara or eyeliner to glide off of you. It's made with coconut milk, so it's hydrating, it's not irritating, and it'll get waterproof makeup off of your eye without you having to like go in and rub, and it'll also leave your eye area like a little bit softer than when you found it. So my thing is if you often wear like a full face of heavy makeup, go for the balm because this will just be like an all-in-one. You don't need to use something different on your eyes, but if you only struggle with your eye makeup taking it off, then this is a really, really good option. It's only $5.95. Okay, finally, I want to talk about the Charcoal Detox Cleansing Stick. So cleansing sticks have been pretty popular in the past year, and this particular one, this is my second stick. I just got it. I've just loved traveling with cleansing sticks over the past year. I'm pretty sure maybe all but one vacation, I actually brought a cleansing stick versus a liquid cleanser. It's just one less liquid you have to worry about in your bag, you know what I mean? So it is a twist up solid cleanser and it is made with purifying charcoal, so very good for acne prone skin like mine, but it will draw out impurities as well as keep your skin feeling really soft. The way I use this is after I take my makeup off, I will wet my face with warm water and then I'll just go in and apply the stick directly to my face and kind of just get all over. And then I'll rub in with my hands, which will really help, you know, get the cleanser in there and rinse and you're ready to go. So this is just a really good on the go product. I've loved traveling with cleansing sticks and it's also really good for your gym bag too. Cause again, the less liquids, the less chance of something exploding and having goo everywhere. So they're just really convenient. But yeah, I've just been working these products into my routine because my skin had felt so sensitive recently and I knew that the brand had really good hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested and fragrance free stuff that would kind of let my sensitive skin calm down and reset a little bit. All right, everyone, if you like this video and you like skincare videos in general, please hit the thumbs up to let me know. And I'd love to hear in the comments which of these products you think would work well in your routine. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. If you've already done that, high five, but have you hit the bell icon to turn on video notifications so you know every time a video goes live. Engage with this video in any way to keep my face on your subscription page. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.